Tell me who you are, get in the car. Right now. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Kicking off this episode here at the gym already, so I'm just chilling in the parking lot. Already done my pre-workout, which was the Thavage pre-workout, um, the Sebum, Christopher Secret stuff. It's their newest flavor. I did do a little bit of a taste testing um, on IG through the Popeyes Winpig page, so if you guys haven't checked that out, you guys want to see my reaction along with my colleague Patty's uh, reaction, as, as well as all the other pre-workout flavors. Go check that out, it's, it's still posted on the Popeyes Winnipeg IG page. Drank that already, and then now in this shaker cup here for my intro workout, I do have the ghost pump as well as some amino acids to fuel me throughout this workout. So I'm about to hit a back day, it's gonna be a high volume day, so so again, trying to always improve my back um, for the upcoming shows uh, next year. So, so we're gonna do that, and then I have a few things to do throughout the day as well, but uh, let's get this workout started and get this thing going. Here we go now. Boy, I got you, got to give it to your doctor. Yeah. You do a little dancing and you do the little walk up. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah. Give it away, give it away. Here we go now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah. Just give it away, nigga. Break your back, don't stop. Break your back, don't stop. Break your back, don't stop. Continue. Alright, so solid, solid back day workout. Finally, my strength is coming back. Um, from last week uh, when I got sick. Can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video, but yeah, last week um, I was out for I was out for two days. I think I had some kind of stomach virus going on. I was like waking up in the middle of the night, um, puking, things like that. Everything was sore. But yeah, it seems now that my strength has gone back to normal, so that's a good sign. So yeah, we got that done, and then I did notice um, while I was filming in the gym that I forgot my external mic, so hopefully you guys can still hear me clearly. As of right now, I'm gonna get a post-workout meal. Not sure what I'm gonna get yet. But I'm also going to head up Walmart to stock up a few things. I'm kind of low on some supplies for my groceries, so... Later on, we're going to check out a studio here in the city, um, which I'll explain a little bit later, but that's another thing on the list. But yeah, we're just going to continue on with the day and then catch you all in the next clip. We are here at Earthlink Studios. Kind of talking a little quiet here because it's a small place, but this is one of the studios I'm kind of checking out right now. And let's just sit down here. But as you saw in the clips over there, it's uh, quite a small room. I believe there's um, there's more to choose from. But yeah, I'm here with DJ and Mars and they're kind of taking their photos in there. But checking out the studio, it's kind of part of the process of the project that I'm, I'm doing as well because I'm also searching uh, different places of where to shoot some content so this was one of them that I was kind of curious about so I came down to check it out. Like I said it's a small room but they do have a backdrop in there. Um, really cool vibes if you're trying to look for that natural lighting like that bedroom, um, white room type of a uh, type of feel when it comes to your photos but, but like I said before this is part of the process that um, I'm trying to get ahead of so like when everything comes together I don't have to search for a studio anymore I kind of know where to go, um, what places to shoot at um, for content so so far it's pretty cool I in my head I'm already kind of like thinking of different themes what I would call future campaigns um, that I could use the room that's back there so kind of curious how the other rooms look like not sure if we have access to them but yeah we're gonna head it back in there and then kind of uh, record a little bit more all right, so a quick project update here. I don't know if you guys remember a couple of videos back that um, I was in search of um, some tube lights. We went to Don's Photos to see what they got there and they did have the lights, but I did want to do a little bit of research and kind of see if there was better deals um, on it or if there's other, any other options. So I did that and I was about to pull the trigger on the ones that we have here because um, I couldn't find anything that was, a, that was a better deal. And with Black Friday finally coming up, I did one last research and then I did come up on a set of tube lights that I finally pulled the trigger on it. So it's definitely on its way here. And what's crazy about it is for the amount that I was gonna pay for the two Godox uh, tube lights, the set that I have here for pretty much the exact same price, I think this one's even less, I'm getting four, which I feel like will allow more creativity when we create content for it. So what I actually got was the Nanlite Pavo tubes. They're the T8 
7x but yeah pretty much the exact same price um, i'm getting four four of them so so yeah super excited about that can't wait until they get here and this is kind of like one of many steps that um that i need to do to create this whole thing like i said in the last video i do want to set the standard high for this getting these these equipment um is going to pay off in the long run i feel like yeah, i'm all, i'm always the thing about long term so i decided to invest in these um because i know i'm going to be reusing them and rather than renting might as well just own it and then um kind of just use it uh, for the long run but yeah just a little update there now we get some food All right, so for the food, decided to grab some Korean hot dogs. Haven't had these in a while, but um, I know what you're thinking. Aren't they just regular corn dogs? Technically, yes, but for myself, it's more of a texture thing. They do a little bit of creativity with it, which I'll show you right now. So yeah, check these out. Got one that's kind of like coated in ramen noodles, so deep fried ramen noodles, and then I kind of spread some spicy mayo and just the regular mayo. Then we got a potato hot dog over here. So if you look closely, there's cubes of potatoes, and then kind of just did the basic ketchup and mustard, but. But yeah, so I haven't had these in a while, so I decided to snag these up and kind of just change up things a little bit. But um, definitely the ramen one's kind of my top pick. Not only it's good, the ramen noodles just gives it a little bit more texture, which I like, so check this out. That crunch though. All right, so it's a little bit later in the day. For the most part, I was just doing um, a little bit of work on the computer, but I think I'm just gonna wrap this video up here. To end the day off, I'm just gonna have some protein powder. And the one I have here is the Ghost Apple Cider uh, Donut, which is my favorite flavor out of their whole lineup. I'm gonna get a scoop of that. And yeah, like I said, we're just gonna wrap this video up here. For the most part, I feel like this video was more of a little bit of an update video. I'm um, just giving you a heads up of what is going on with the current project I'm doing. Um, but yeah, like as you saw, things are rolling. And then yeah, looking at the clips, I know nothing super crazy happened, but yeah, that's real life, you know? So sometimes you gotta get through all the boring stuff, see the process a little bit, see a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I'm working on. But yeah, as much as I want every video to be exciting and dynamic, um, sometimes, yeah, like I said, you just gotta get through the boring stuff and every week's kind of different. So you just gotta work with what your uh, daily schedule looks like. So that said, hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, comment it below, again, just pretty much anything just to increase the engagement. And that's pretty much it. Catch you all in the next episode.